I want to show you a few harmonicas that I have in my case here just uh, just for fun and just for conversation this one is a Lee Oscar this is nothing too exciting but it's a harmonic minor I usually don't play Lee Oscar harmonicas I think they last forever but I just personally don't care for the tone of them but anyway this one is a harmonic minor in the key of D minor and there's a song that Buddy Green does called Bubba the Wandering Gypsy and I'll just play a little bit of that just so you can hear the tuning of this Okay, so that's a harmonic minor. Um, another one that I have is this Golden Melody, and this one is the Golden Melody 543, which is gold. It's actually gold, and I've never seen these in the unit in the United States. But I got this one again from Norman's Harmonica Center. I don't know if Norman is still online these days, but you can probably purchase these anywhere outside of the USA. And the thing that was kind of interesting about this one is that usually Golden Melodies have the tempered tuning. And I think this one is just tuned so that the chords sound smoother. And it actually has a little bit different sound. It is assembled on the inside with screws. So it's not old. It doesn't have nails in it. It's put together with screws. I'll, I'll play a little bit of it just uh, so you can see what it sounds like. These are only available in C. So to me it sounds like hole number five draws a little flat. So I don't really use this one to play. Uh, live or anything like that. I just bought it because it looks neat for pictures and as a prop. But anyway, that's a Golden Melody 543. Another one that's no longer manufactured um, is the Vest Pocket. This one has been customized, but uh, I think they still make the Piccolo. <clears throat> and the Piccolo only comes in the key of C, but it used to be that when you bought these in G or A, it was a high G and a high A. I've also got one of the piccolos and this one is a high A. So this vest pocket though has been customized by a guy named Peter Elder and I don't know if he's even still around. I haven't heard from Pete in a long time. He was a great guy and um, this one is in the key of high G so it's a really good sounding harmonica. It's so small, the holes are so small on it, it's kind of uh, funny to try and play it after you're used to playing a regular harmonica. But anyway, have some fun with that one. I already showed you the Spanish tuning on another clip. Um, and then the last one yeah, that I wanted to show you was this Boomerang harmonica. The Boomerang harmonica was a harmonica that was originally made by Seidel in the 30s and 40s. And this one is a reissue that was made... Um, I guess around the early, well I guess I got this one in 2003 or 2004. There were supposedly only a thousand of them made. came in two keys, the key of C and the key of A. It's got a wooden comb on it. It's got 12 holes. So it's tuned just like a regular diatonic. This one's in C. So hole number 11 blow is an E and 11 draw is a B. And then the 12th hole the blow note is a G, 
and the draw note is a D. I'm not going to play this one because I just bought it as a collector's piece and as a as a novelty or as a prop. This is the same one that's pictured in my um, profile here on YouTube, and I've got a picture of this on my personal site. I think you can still purchase the Boomerang harmonicas at a site called ChromaticHarmonica.net. ChromaticHarmonica.net. Check it out and see if they're still available. They show up on eBay sometimes, and if you remember, Charlie Musselwhite had an album called Ace of Harps, and he had a picture of him holding one. I think his was one of the original ones, and uh, it just brought up a lot of questions at that time as to whether or not these were real and, and where you could get them and that sort of thing. But check out chromaticharmonica.net, and if you have any other questions on anything, feel free to drop me a line. So